Recording in progress. Awesome. Online students, uh, check it out, guys, here. Am I audible? Online people. Online students, check it out. Am I audible? Okay, right. Okay, so yesterday uh, we started equijoin examples, and the uh, next level of example is what now? I want to display some of salaries of each department names wise uh, from EMP, comma DPT tables by using equiorder inner. So, anybody written like? Written? Boys. Good. Or anybody? Girls, no one. Half of the query missing, check it out. Half of the query missing, check. Good. Okay, right. The remaining people, what happened here? Hmm? Okay. So come out and see here. So actually, the sum of salaries, and uh, this is my EMP table, and uh, you have here the tables, and salaries are there here, but here we don't have it any department name. So the department names are having into another table. The table is called as what now? DEPT. So in this DEPT table, see, assignment is not fulfilled. Huh? At least in the classroom. So keep some silence and observe. 
you are not fulfill assignment means sir you are not did your work you are not did your work means you don't have a rights to talk listen then again no assignments clearing again talking means what is the use of this observe so department name so department names are having into one table and their salaries are having into one more table okay so how we want to do i said each department names wise it means what it means that already each job wise each department number wise we need to find out some count of employees and some of salaries we already discussed a group by class anybody remember uh, so here also we need to use what group by because each department's names wise so now group by class i already explained to you how it was going to be used here also first what we want to do this two tables data first i need to join for the joining of this two tables purpose how we want to write here select a star from emp e then my join is what now in a join so now i want to give it department d and now the class was on dot common column what is the common column department number is my common column and dpt number see up to if i use like this what it was happen almost the two tables data was combined together now it was combined or not you can see what is this here emp number emp number name job manager hired it salary commission department number c again what it was added uh, department number department names and uh, loc so now which department i i want it what now each department's wise names wise sum of salary so this is two table data we combined now after combining of two tables data then what we want to do now from this result i need to find out sum of <laughs> sum of salary but sum of salary i want to find out based on which column department name column okay na so now after joining of these two tables whatever the result was came as in that result which columns total how many columns are there number name job mgr hire date salary commission department number up to here emp table next uh, department number department name and loc this is dept table so that is two table data already joined after joining on these columns on which column i have to apply my group by department name so can you see the group by here can you see your department name once you apply department name on department name once we apply group by class department name whatever the departments are there sales research accounting is there any other no so three departments are come to us because of reason their numbers are matching 30 30 20 20 10 10 matching but 40th department number is there a department is there but department number is not there in my emp table so that is called a, it is a matching data unmatching data unmatching data and these are all matching data so equi join will retrieving only matching information okay after matching of data whatever it was retrieved now i want to apply group by on d name so whenever you apply group by class on your d name column then this d name column in this d name column whatever the departments are there the departments are separated so first department accounting separated next department is what now research separated third one is what now sales so after dividing your groups now accounts how many accounts three people are there so accounts 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 like a research 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 five members like a sales that is called a sales 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 all are making some groups after grouping that really okay that information for example one example we will try what is that here 10 equals to 10 accounting 10 is equals to 10 accounting 10 is equals to 10 accounting how many people are working in accounting department three people those three people salaries you can check 
one employee salary 2450 one employee salary 5000 one employee salary 1300 on these group of salaries of accounting department which function i have to use some function so now see 257 8 8750 this is which department the total salary accounting so that means now what we want to do up to here the query will be returning like this then on condition as usual Next, what should be applied? Group by. After joining condition, then you can apply group by. Group by on which column? D name. But I said here, whenever we need to use a grouping expression or group by class, what we said here in the previous grouping example classes, your group by function, that's called a grouping function expression or grouping class expression, and your selected expression must be same. But here, what I am selected? Star. Star means what? All. But my grouping expression column is what? E name. So D name. Now we can see what it was happening. If I send like this, it was showing error. What it was showing error? Star. Star is not a group by expression. Because my group by expression is what now? Department name. But my selected expression is what now? Star star is not a grouping expression that's why it was showing error so that means what we want to use ah department name okay from empe so i want to use in a join dpt d which class on e dot dpt number is equals to d dot dpt number group by what is this d name so now we can see your group by expression your selected expression same uh, matching uh, yes now it was a uh, grouping is done how many groups are formed three research sales accounts but the groups are forming but what should we find out here sum of salary so that means which function i have to apply yeah some function so comma sum of a salary okay then after okay now grouping expression so now we can see research 10,875, sales 9,400, accounting 8,750. Understand? Uh, write down below. Suppose same if I want to write into non ANSI format, how to write? Ah, so here you need to use a where class. In place of join keyword, what should we use? What should we use? Come on, comma. Yes or no? That's it. Remaining all are same. Okay. Now write uh, next one more example. 
write a query to display department number sum of salary of departments sum of salaries okay salary of departments from emp comma dept tables from emp comma dept tables by using by using equi or inner join okay previous example this example both are same but previous example only department names are displayed but now along with sum of salary department sum of salary sum of salary of departments ah uh, what i need to display additionally additionally department number also okay uh, let me come out so you are careful observe but we all of you know this we all of you know this department number is available in two tables actually yes or no uh, is it available in your department yes is it available in your emp yes but the same column when we are accessing from the two tables without any identity what it was happen first example i show you cid is equal to cid what happened what happened in my first program ah uh, it's called a ambiguous confusion confusion occur uh, same as here also you can see carefully so now i'm going to write don't write first observe complete query uh, observe after that you can take select suppose i just leave like this department number department name and what next sum of salary from empe and i want to use inner join dept d on e dot dept number is equals to d dot dept number what is this group by department number comma department name because number of columns and number of columns must be same in grouping class but here observe carefully in my grouping two expressions are there one expression id name is called a unique it is a unique name that's called a different name i don't want to give any identity here but department number column is not a unique it's a duplicate because this column is also available in my emp table and also available in my dept table so whenever you just passing like this and passing like this without giving any okay what we can say identity we are directly sending like this then it was showing error na uh, confusion error is calling or not uh, now we can see it was showing error what is error column ambiguously defined so that means you can't go like see my problem is here ah uh, this problem to overcome purpose what we want to do what we want to do ah uh, we need to use a table name we need to use what now table name otherwise table alias name okay now anyone you can use it and now i can see i'm writing now this is okay and come back here i said that okay here i said that d dot department name okay that means here my grouping column whatever it was there here this column i'm taking from which table department table that's okay this problem is solved but here also problem is occur na yes suppose if you want to go and check and to execute this one again the problem is occurred ambiguous now this time which level select query level so here also problem is occurred 
So that's why what we want to do this problem to overcome purpose. Here also, I want to give us some identity. What is my identity? Either D dot department name you can give, or else E dot department number also can give. Nothing problem. Okay, na? Uh, then after, then after, okay, department. Then you can see you got it, ah? Huh? Uh, department number ten. Name is accounting. Sum of salary eight seven five zero. Twenty research ten thousand eight seven fifty. Thirty sales nine thousand four hundred. Okay, na? So like uh, here, whenever you are using same column, that column must be have a identity. That identity is nothing but what now? Table name. Otherwise, table alias name. Write down below. Okay, right. So take one more example. Write a query to display. Write a write a query to display. Departments. Write a query to display departments. In which department? The number of employees, the number of employees are, are less than, are less than five, less than five from EMP comma DEPT tables, from EMP comma DEPT tables by using equijoin or inner join by using equijoin or inner join Okay, right. So now you are careful, sir. Display departments. In which department number of employees are less than five? So first, what we going to find out here first? Come on, this example already we discussed in group by class. First, what we need to find out? Uh, first, in each and every department, how many number of employees are there? First, I need to find out. How to find out? By using group by class, not count. By using group by. 
so by using group by we are finding number of uh, people in each uh, department okay now uh, then how to write now come on how to write select select a uh, department name what next count function count of star a uh, from empe inner join dpt d on dpt number is equals to d dot dpt number up to is what we want to use group by is a compulsory because i am going to find out the departments wise now we can see to execute what oh comma missing what we missed here uh, pull stop so dot mm. so now what it was happen see research 5 sales 6 accounting 3 who you wanted less than 5 less than 5 which department is that accounting ah uh, now think after grouping if i want to add some condition which class having class can you remember ah uh? ah uh, so that means here where class is supported ah uh? no because where class when we want to use after grouping up uh, before grouping ah uh? before grouping okay na but after grouping when we want to add a condition which class having class so my query up to here same okay na but additionally i am adding what having this having when i am going to applying after grouping having what do you say count of star which is less than 2 got it ah huh? mm, write down below okay na now so these are what we called as this all examples you can see your tables are joined with based on equal operator only can you see every join condition you can observe so in join condition either non ansi format or ansi format you can see equal only i'm using equal only the join condition i'm using equal only all the way all the way i'm using equal only okay na so after equi join then you can apply group by uh, having a uh, where class uh, whatever you can apply okay this is equi join nature but equi join problem is what now it always retrieving only matching rows for example in your table can you see in my students and uh, course table if you observe in this two tables not only matching data even though we have a unmatching data also yes or no for example course id 1 course id 2 here also course id 1 course id 2 these are called a matching but unmatching is there ah uh? which one dot net here unmatching student is there ah uh? which one jones so it means when your tables are having matching and unmatching on those type of tables if i applied equi join 
then if we join through i will get only matching information it means uh, unmatching information we are losing or missing okay na no? or left so now what is my requirement don't miss unmatching row you want it matching along with matching i want it uh, unmatching also then what we want to do sir okay uh, write down below below write down by using equi join we can retrieve or retrieving or we are retrieving we are retrieving matching retrieving okay matching rows only retrieving matching rows only will stop if we want to retrieve we want to retrieve matching and unmatching rows from from multiple tables rows from multiple tables then we use a technique then we use a, a technique is called as which one outer joins technique is called as a technique is called as a outer joins hmm. so what is outer join what is outer joins Oh, outer joints intention is what now? Outer joints are used to retrieve matching and unmatching data. Matching and unmatching data from from multiple tables. From multiple. tables again these are how many times i said uh, three types okay these are how many types three types first one what is the first one left outer join left outer join so what is left outer join sir what is left outer join means hmm left out to join what it was do retrieving retrieving matching rows retrieving matching rows from matching rows from from both the tables from both the tables but from both tables but unmatching rows but unmatching rows from left side table only okay na okay retrieving matching rows from both tables but unmatching rows from left side table only okay now first of this statement how to implement in ansi i will show you first of all first i'm showing ansi so ansi come out and see the first of all let me come out and see my tables now first of all one is table is what now course another table we have your student okay now these are 
two tables, one two one two matchings, three is unmatching, one zero four Jones null is a unmatching. But now I want to apply this. Select a star from my first table is what now student S, and I'm using what now left outer join, and the second table I'm giving as a course. So now tell me this query who written? This query written by. Who written this query? User, programmer. We are writing now. Uh, so this query written by programmer. So programmer, how he was passing the table order along with my outer join key. In which way your table orders are passing here? Based on the table orders, okay, your database server will decide which is left, which is right. So the left and right, okay, the table order. Who will decide? User. That's my choice. I can write my table orders like a student course. I can write. Otherwise, I can write a course student also. I can write. It's my choice. So in which way the programmer was mentioned your order of the tables in the query? Based on that, your left table, right table will be decided. Understand now? Uh, suppose I am writing my order like this. Now tell me which is left side table, which is right side table, course. And now I am using which keyword? Left keyword. Left keyword retrieving matching data from both tables, student and course. But unmatching left side table only. Then left side table which was student. So that means unmatching data coming from student, but not course. Understand now? Uh, so now we can go. Let me come and see. Uh, what is the common column? CID is equals to CID and 2x cube. Now we can identify 1 1 matching, 1 1 second time matching, 2 2 matching, but 1 0 2 for Jones is not matching. But not matching data also retrieved. And the corresponding row in second table by default showing nulls. Corresponding row in second table, what it was showing? Nulls. So this is what we called as a left outer. Left side student table is there. That's why unmatching data from student table only retrieval. But uh, unmatching data from course table, what is that? Dot net. Dot net is came or not came? Not came. So that means the right side missing. When I'm using left key, left only we get, but right side missing. Now you can see, suppose this order I will change. Some people have a doubt. Sir, my wish, can I change this order here? Yes, of course. Course C. Then after, here I will give it what now? Student S. Okay. On, what do you say? Yes dot, which column? CID is equals to D dot CID. Uh, C dot C dot CID is equals to S dot CID. But this time, which table I kept into left side? Course. That means unmatching data coming from, but not student. And now we can see, now we can see dot net is came now. Unmatching data three. But uh, Okay, matching data come, unmatching data from only left side. That means course table, but not a student table. So that means now understand uh, the table positions and table orders will be decided uh, based on programmer, how he was writing a query. So in which way your tables are passing in the join statement, based on that it will decide uh, left side and uh, right side. Okay, na? Uh, so now write on this example first of all. Uh, sorry, what I'm asking next? Uh, unmatching data. Oh, okay, right, right. Don't. This is called as a ANSI format. This is called as a ANSI format.
okay now this is ansi very simple we are writing but sir how i want to write into non ansi format this is your interview question okay na how you want to write a non ansi so now you can see non ansi if i want to write as per my non ansi format syntax how to write now select star from student yes comma course c where yes dot cid is equals to cid id but sir carefully observe this is equi join na yes sir no equi join and if i am executing this only matching sir coming out did you get any unmatching no unmatching data there is no unmatching from student there is no unmatching from course it was giving only matching because of reason your statement is called equi join this is it's not outer join it is a equi join but what we need to implement outer join implement okay which outer join left outer join but how we can okay na uh, so here what we want to use here whenever is very important for interview whenever you need to implement out in non ansi format there should be use direct operator should be use directly we cannot so we should what now predict operator what is my predict operator it means that plus symbol the plus symbol how to use means uh, it is a quite opposite if i want to implement a left out join then my predict operator should apply on right side of the table if i want to implement a right out join then my predict operator should apply on a left side table so this is quite a reverse now which i want to implement now left out join so as usual equi join same equi join but now you have to make it outer then we need to use a predict operator the predict operator what it is i said plus now left outer means now my predict was applied on a right side table what is right side table course so that's why here i will be apply what is my predict symbol plus open and closing brackets so now right side i was applied so now see what it was happened to execute you got it huh? left outer join implemented huh? yes so what it was happened sir it means that whenever we are using this predict operator on which table are you applied from that table it will be retrieving only matchings unmatchings will be restricted okay and where you didn't apply from the table all are come matching will come unmatching also come because there is no restriction okay when you predict operator when you apply on the table from the table unmatching rows will be restricted okay na that is what it was going to be happen internally so that's what finally we need to use a predict operator understand na hmm. right on below same here i am giving the point when we implement when we implement outer joins in non ansi format in non ansi format then then we use then we use a predict then we use a predict operator the predict operator is open and closing plus symbol okay now we can come out and see your example on this how we can give it here it will be <coughs> the 
this is very important for you maybe in interviews definitely it was asking how to write out a joint statement in non ansi format so compulsory this predict operator should be used otherwise you cannot implement okay no so ansi format directly we are using left out a g left out a joint keyword so there is no problem there but in non ansi compulsory we should use this okay right this is left outer join requirement to fetching your unmatching rows also the next the second one i'm asking to you what is my second one here right outer right outer what it was do retrieving matching rows from both tables okay but unmatching rows from which side right side so and see very simple we now we need to use my keyword the keyword is what now right keyword and now if i use this one if i use this one so in the and see format now we can see in this table student left side course right side so that's why right side unmatching data dot net will be return and the corresponding row at the student by default taking nulls null means what i said empty empty row okay na this is what it was happening but the same thing in your non ansi now the predict symbol where you want to apply right side or left side ah uh, right means left left means right now what we are implementing right outer join right outer join means where you want to apply left side left side means which table yes table yes dot cid of predict okay now the above answer below answer both are same ah uh, but it is uh, which format format ansi format this is which format non ansi format try down below So write down again. and the third one what is the third one here full outer join because in right and left left outer join right side data missing right outer join left side data missing if you want it without the left or without missing any kind of data you want it complete data either 
matching and unmatching then we have to use a full keyword so that means what you say retrieving retrieving matching and unmatching rows rows from multiple tables at a time from multiple tables at a time ah uh, now we can see ansi format i can implement because of reason we have a direct keyword what is our ansi keyword full yes or no ah uh, the full keyword is there so that's why i can implement so once i implemented this full outer join what it was happening here you can observe what it was happening see so complete your matching and unmatching carefully observe 11 1122 this is called a matching data unmatching data from left side student table this is unmatching data the corresponding row in the second table will take as a nulls same as unmatching data from the right side table dot net the corresponding row in the left side will take as a nulls so finally matchings and unmatchings both are we are achieved now okay now so that is what advantage of a full outer join so okay sir i can write in ansi format because the keyword the reserved keyword is there i used and performed but the same thing if i want to do in non ansi then non ansi how to do ah both sides you can apply your predictor operator uh, let me come out and see so both sides i'm applying now generally as a fresher learner this is what we are expected as yes or no ah uh, but what happened you can see it was showing error and what it was saying that a predicate may reference only one outer join table any one only not both it can be predict any one table in your outer join but i am applying here two sides not allowed what do you want to do so think about uh, left outer we return non ansi right outer we return non ansi now i want to implement a full outer join full outer join is nothing but the combination of left and right can i add this two ha huh? ha uh. but when we add the two select queries or two select statements whenever we need to add together is there any operator we discuss in the previous classes discuss sir huh? which operator concat that is a string i am not asking string i am adding queries select query 1 select query 2 add two query statements we need to add anything we discuss yes what is that okay go to operators concept go to operators concept union na sure union operator uh, definition read set operators are union na uh, go to set operators take definition definition set operator purpose is read syntax is observed Uh, set operators are used to combine the results of two select statements. Syntax given, ah? Uh? Ah, uh, what is the syntax? 
select query one, set operator, select query two. So can I use here? Uh, now see, left outer join. This is left out. Non NC format left outer join. Is it a yes or no? Okay. Which operator? Set operator union. What next I have to write? This is left outer. Right outer I want to write. This is right outer. So left outer statement, right outer statement, we are adding together with the help of union. Because why, sir, we are going to do? Because my predict operator, I cannot apply on both side tables. On both side tables, you cannot. I can apply on only one table. So now satisfied. Huh? First query, one side applied, one table applied. Second query, one applied, one table applied. So now the results are combining. Achieved? Huh? Full out of join achieved? Huh? Ah, this is one of the interview question. Okay, now join, sir. Important. Right on. Non ANSI. Okay, so these are outer joints advantage to retrieve unmatching data also. Now next one takes adding non equi join. Take next one non equi join. Hmm. So non equi join is quite opposite of your equi join. Equijoin, what we said, it was joining the tables based on equal operator. But other operator like less than operator, greater than, less than, and uh, okay, between, uh, these kind of things, sir, we are not uh, implemented. But now we can see non equi what it was telling, in your join conditional level only, you can use any operator. 
equijoin what happen in joint conditional levels we are using only equal after that you can use anything but in the joint condition i am using only equal but non equi except equal you can use any operator in your joint condition okay na then that type of joints are called a non equi right on below so what do you say retrieving data from multiple tables based on any condition based on any condition except an equal operator condition an equal operator condition full stop now we can write in this join or in this joining condition in this joining condition we can use we can use less than greater than less than or equals to greater than or equals to not equals to okay between operator okay end operator etc end operator etc but which operator don't use equal okay na ah. first i will show you a small example for easiness purpose okay observe don't write just observe so i am creating few tables guys here create a table test number 1 for example serial number integer and now some name i am taking here varchar 2 of uh, some size this table already existing uh. why i am using parg Ah, huh? parg means what? Permanent deletion. Ah, okay, okay. So one table I done. Now you want to insert test one, sending your values ten comma ah uh, some name is Smith. Next one I will insert twenty comma the next name is Jones. Okay, I just commit this. Commit means permanently save. so that we are not discussing in future class i will explain to that okay commit command roll back commands we are discussing in i'm coming soon okay next salary is what now number number of uh, some 10 so in this also i'm going to insert test number 2 sending values of suppose 10 and 23000 rupees salary next i will take here 30 and i'm sending here 34000 rupees salary okay i just commit this table also now the two tables we designed test number 1 test number 2 on this small amount of data tables now i'm going to writing what non equi join how to write non equi join first i will show you non ansi format absurd select a star from test 1 t1 comma ah uh, test 2 t2 and the condition is what now where class t1 dot serial number which is greater than or less than or less than or equals to or greater than or equals to or not equals to whatever you can use but don't use which one equal if i'm using equal it means equi join that's simple okay that's why don't use it you can use any other than 
equal you can use any one so t2 dot a serial number okay as per this condition how it was checking internally careful observe now t1 table this is t1 this is t2 in t1 table serial number what it was there 10 20 in second table 10 30 in between what condition i'm using greater than and we all of you know this how the joints will be executed internally which rule ah uh, rule is what a row in a table comparing with all rows of second table that's a rule now uh, no compare like it is greater than condition 10 greater than 10 true or uh, it is a false 10 greater than 30 true mark mark bahar fek dunga ah so now false next 20 20 is greater than 10 true so true means can i join this yes this row is join next 2 greater than 30 false so that means only 2 20 greater than 10 this is only matching okay now we can see that you got it or not got it huh? 20 is greater than 10 so this join whatever we used this is called as a this is called as a non equi join condition we called okay na right on. first this demo tables i am giving that and don't write demo tables it was though, uh, it will be there in the notes okay right so query direct query example right now. later i will give one example to you uh, what is my query for non equi join so this is what i was taken right now Already demo tables uploaded now. Nah? Oracle demo tables. Huh? Okay. Then take one assignment. Then take one assignment. Write a query to display. Write a query to display. Employees. Whose salary is between whose salary is between low salary and high salary from emp comma sal grade table sal grade tables <laughs> and the two tables careful observe emp and uh, sal grade and these two tables already you have and uh, one more thing i'm showing now so emp table you know now uh, in emp table 
can you see uh, we we don't have it any low salary high salary columns are not there which column is there only salary and uh, come to another table select a star from sal grade here you have a low salary high salary so that means you are each and every row of employee table comparing with the all rows of sal grade table after comparison level wherever your employee salary is comes in between low to high that you will be retrieved okay na this two tables already you have it in demo demo tables or documentation okay na can you try ha huh? okay try it huh? and i will see on monday session okay na huh? right i stop it now and we'll continue on monday leave leave